Um, so we're going to start off with this lovely little addition to their software library of uh, this rapidly growing of, of software instruments. This is from Cherry Audio, and this is the Polymode synthesizer, um, which is their version of the classic Moog Polymoog, which was this really kind of kind of weird uh, polyphonic synth. It was their first polyphonic synth, if I'm not mistaken. Um, used kind of string machine divide down technology and uh, had some very weird quirks and stuff. But this has just been released. Um, it is a kind of standalone and plug-in version of the Polymode module that uh, featured in the, the Cherry Audio's voltage modular system. Um, it costs um, at the moment a mere 29 of your US dollars, um, which is down from 49, although I'm not entirely sure if it's still going, but JRR Shop online, this is Chris um, uh, gave me and Ben the heads up on this last night. Um, if you use the code group, G-R-O-U-P, um, when you check out there, you get uh, an extra discount, so it takes it even further down. So um, this is a really good value for money synthesizer. Um, let's just play a little bit of the demo here. Let's turn the volume up. So there you go, that's a bit of enough of that before we get any kind of copyright hits. I don't think we will, but there you go. Um, Cherry Audio's poly mode. I've got this now, I've been playing around with it and I have to, I've got it loaded up at the moment. And that's all I'll do because we'll probably get a copyright strike on that one. But of course, the poly mode is probably most uh, famously known for the Vox Humana preset, which came on the later kind of more preset version of the, the the machine and was so popularly popular I can't even talk so well used by Mr Gary Newman um I really like this guys I mean I'm a huge Newman fan so the Vox Humana sound is worth 29 bucks on its own if it's a good one what about you guys what do you think um yeah I'm like you Robbie uh, I, I, I kind of not a big Newman fan but obviously I, I appreciate his work and th this sound is just synonymous with with especially his early work you know uh, God, I can't think of a telecon and um, pleasure principle pleasure replicas, principle, replicas like all the classic I, yeah. I, I'm sorry I can't equate in my head you are a, like a big 80s electronic music fan with a huge <laughs> and you don't like Gary Newman I'm sorry that, that does not compute <laughs> Uh, no, it's not that I don't like him. I, I've just, I, I've been like bombarded with him over the years, you know. And it's like, as well, you should be. That's how, it's, yeah, that's how it should that's be. A, I need a bit of a Newman break, like. But uh, yeah, he, he, he's very, very influential, uh, and that early sound. I'm not too keen on his. I always think it's weird how he's influenced uh, Nine Inch Nails, and then. Nine Inch Nails have then gone on to influence Gary Newman. It, it, it's <laughs> it, it, it's kind of an infinite loop, uh, but yeah. Uh, and this this synth is that Polyvox uh, Polymoog uh, Vox Humana sound. It, it, it's got that perfect. I just wish I had it a couple of weeks ago when I was working on some Newman tracks for the band. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It, it, it's it's a good one. Uh, yeah. They've really captured the uh, the sound. Chris, how about you? Have you uh, had a chance to play around with it yet? Uh, just shortly, just presets. I haven't made anything myself. I, I've kind of got mixed feelings about it. Um, uh, just first right off, some of the great stuff is, the, I mean, the price, it, it was 24 American with the, on the JRR shop. So, I mean, the price is definitely right on these Cherry Audio uh, synthesizers. Uh, I'm not terribly familiar with the uh poly Moog. i've watched a few things on it and it's never struck me as one of my favorite synthesizer sounds but it is one of the least uh uh modeled ones and i didn't think i had one 
until I was demoing it. And then it popped into my head that Syntronic also has some Polymoog stuff in there. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's a quirky one. It's a it's a real quirky one. I'm I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, I I've resolved to. Uh, that I I resolved to the fact that I'm the uh, Simon Cowell of our group and um, we'll, we'll scowl about everything. So, mind you, these are only as far as my own use, and I, I'm not you know just crapping on everybody's favorite synthesizer or anything. It's just not for me. But um, I, I I will give it some more time and play around with it because I think it is capable of some really unique sounds with uh, the way the filter and resonator uh, architecture is. In fact. Um, Cherry Audio has another video that's not about this, but about their, uh, uh, what's their modular one? I, uh, Voltage Modular or voltage, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah Voltage. Yeah, so they have a module of that, and they have a longer video that talks pretty in depth about the architecture yeah. of the Polymog, and I thought that was a really cool video for them to do. Yeah, yeah, it certainly looks like this is the same engine just dressed up now in a, mm -hmm. in a thing. So um, <clears throat> let's just bring up the... Uh, the screen here. Um, so this is the uh, this this is this is live running uh, in the background of my um, my machine here. Um, now somebody asked in the chat room. I can't find it. Now, does, does it have um, a, the stone phaser? Well, it has a phaser. Uh, it has a bunch of effects down here. It's an ensemble and a phaser and an echo, uh, reverb, and then of course you've got the two um, modulator LFOs there and the two. Um, oscillators that will rank one and rank two as they're called it's a very oddly configured thing but then guess it was a very old thing and the i was reading on there's um there's a website for polymog owners uh, I, f I forget the name i should have really brought this up uh dub something or other and um there's some really great history about this this machine on there um mm. i've got the apollo as well which is the uvi um apollo library which the apollo was at like a prototype i believe um, but there's a very it's, the whole history of the Polymog is very you know, um, kind of mysterious and, and chaotic and all over the place and ultimately it it failed um, but it, it has kind of been cemented in in history with you know with a few of those sounds and of course it uh, there is um, Exil's Labs Poly M which I haven't tried because mm -hmm. Jupiter Boy is asking in the um, in the chat room how does it uh, shape up to that can't tell you mate unfortunately I don't have that. What I can well, tell you is that yeah. the the Exils Labs is a hundred and thirty dollars more expensive. <laughs> um, so it, it, in that respect, this wins hands down. From the demos, it, it sounds a bit fatter and warmer than than this one. But you know, th this is only what tw eighteen quid. I think we yeah. paid for it at the minute. That's right. Uh, I mean, with uh, that and, code, yeah. And I've and it, been mixing it with certain effects today, and it it, it sounds yeah. good. You know, it is it, it is good. Yeah, uh, the couple, how accurate couple, it is, I'm not sure, but it sounds yeah. good. Sounds couple good. tips that worked well for me. Uh, same thing, Ben. Uh, the reverb on it is not very good, and, mm -hmm. and so I, I would turn the reverb off. And then even if you grab yourself something like uh, Valhalla Super Massive, that's free, or you have some yeah. other favorite reverb. Try it with another uh, reverb plugin and, and you'll really enjoy it. And then the other thing mm. I did is I find uh, Cherry Audio. I have the Surreal Surrealistic MG1, which is a cool little synth. I, I like playing that one, but sometimes our modeling is like uh, too clean. And so if you run it uh, with a, a saturator, just slightly saturating, nothing too intense, nothing getting approaching distortion, but something that just dirties it up ever so much, and then you run it into another reverb, either of those, it really sounds good, and it fattens it up pretty mm. nicely. Yeah. I know some people have said that, oh, it doesn't quite sound like the original, and I think we, there was a long discussion on the, on the on our page. And I wasn't trying to be antagonistic. I was just trying to understand what people were comparing you know, mm. it with. And you know, I think it's completely futile to try and compare an instrument, a raw instrument with what you hear on a record because it's gone through so much. Yeah. You know, whether it's yeah. processing in the studio or the the carrier format, whether it's, you know, MP3 or WAV or vinyl or tape or whatever, it's, you know, it's, it's a futile experience. So, um, 
I personally, I've never been in the presence of a polymog. I don't think. Um, actually, no, I think I have at a show once. There was one on display. Never you know, spent any time with it. I just know it from the various records and stuff and the samples. I was very lucky to acquire. There was a guy that uh, we worked with, at Hollow Sun, who had one in for a while, and before he got rid of it, he sampled everything, all the presets out of it, and um, gave them to us. And so I have some really good direct output presets of, of, of that and this stands up pretty well and for, for, for 18 quid 20 odd bucks it's it's, it's a no-brainer yeah. so there you go um if you want to buy that or demo it because you do get a 30-day demo um and what happens is every now and again you get this very soft white noise we were talking about this pre-show that um it just is a very subtle white noise that comes in it's not <laughs> uh, it's just like uh, that makes any sense um 30 days free and then you know you just buy the license after that and they've got some really good stuff uh, a lot of people talk very highly of their their 106 uh clone and of course there's the free uh, mg1 realistic um clone in there as well so yeah they're they're certainly i, I wouldn't be at all surprised if in maybe i don't know maybe at the end of the year we'll see a suite of mm. instruments and they'll be selling it as a package of, of VSTs and it's kind of an alternative like V collection or yeah. something like that which is very yeah. nice. Yeah. One of them that I saw uh, they have uh, you know a handful of very nice vintage synthesizers uh, when they do their videos so sitting behind them and they've got even a uh, Poly Mars uh, mm. or a, uh, Pro Mars sorry. Pro Mars, yeah. Poly everything like we were having yeah. that discussion earlier. <laughs> yeah. Everything's Poly <laughs> but a pro, uh, Roland Pro Mars back there which is a very good sounding synthesizer. Mm. Yeah I wouldn't be surprised if we see you know some, some good stuff coming from them. Um, talking of new things here's something else that's new um, from across the English channel or Le Mange, as they say in France. Um, I've just got to find the right link for it now. Um, this is from UVI.